Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson and I hope you are going to enjoy it. Don't forget to bring along your calculators as we will be doing more calculations today. Conversion is part of our daily life. We use it when we are shopping, traveling or building beautiful buildings. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to convert between units of length, weight and volume. Convert from larger unit to smaller unit by multiplying. Convert from smaller unit to a larger unit by dividing. And here is our topic for, the, for today. We will be working with matrix system and we have divided this topic into three sections. So today we will work with length or distance, weight or mass, and volume. The knowledge that you are bringing into this lesson is, you should be able to measure length, distance in kilometers, meters, centimeters, and milliliters. We measure mass, commonly referred to as weight, in kilograms, grams, and milligrams. We measure capacity in kiloliters, liters, and milliliters. When converting from bigger units to smaller units, we multiply. And when we convert from smaller units to bigger units, we divide. Let's have a practice question for now and see if we still remember. The question says, Precious must deliver a cake from her store to a customer who stays 30 kilometers away from the store. Convert the distance she will travel to meters. In other words, we are required to convert from 30 kilometers to meters. The easy way of doing this and ensuring that we always get the correct answer is the King Harry method. Let's put this down so that it becomes of assistance to us. I will use the space over here. We have King Harry died miserable death called measles. Now from this, remember we only work with K for kilometers, M for meters, C for centimeters, and the last M will indicate millimeters. Now, what is the rule? The rule is when you move from smaller units going to bigger units, the rules say you must multiply. And when you move from smaller units going to bigger units, you are required to divide. Let's look at the values between kilometers and meters. If you want to move from kilometers to meters, you will have to multiply by a thousand. And if you want to move from meters to centimeters, it will decrease by zero, one zero. It becomes a multiplication of 100. And if you want to convert from a centimeter to a millimeter, it will decrease by a zero again to become a multiplication of 10. And if you want to move from millimeters to centimeters, you will still use the same value. However, this time you, you divide. Even here, you will still divide by 100. Here you will divide by a thousand. Let's go back to the question. It said convert the distance. She will travel to meters. And we said we will move from kilometers going to meters. Okay, there. It would mean we'll then have to say 30 multiply by a thousand. Uh, help me calculate this one by taking out your calculators and then let's see what will be the answer. We say 30 multiply by a thousand. We can't gamble with max, so we need to ensure that we give a correct answer. It will be 30,000. The unit has changed now to be meters. I'm sure you also got this one correctly there. Let's move along. Here is another question. Ntando has two pieces of wood. The weight of the first piece of wood is 10,7 milligram, and the weight of the second wood is 0,0107 grams. 
Here is the question. Which wood is the heaviest? In other words, which one is bigger? Now, if we can look at the two pictures, the first one is 10,7 milligrams. The second one is 0,017 gram. So you have a choice over here of converting either from milligrams to grams or from grams to milligrams. For this lesson, I will convert from grams to milligrams and you there can give yourself some time and work out what will be the answer if you convert from milligrams to grams. Right, let's see. I am going to keep my 10,7 milligram and convert the 0 0,0107 gram to milligram. Again, do not forget, remember we have kilograms, we have grams, we have milligrams over there. Now, if you want to move from grams to milligram, the rules say we must multiply. However, this time we will multiply by, by a thousand. So let's look at this one. We're then going to say 0 0,0107 multiply by a thousand. Uh, it is because we are moving from a bigger unit to a smaller unit. That's why we are multiplying. Let's use the calculator to find the answer. We then say 0 0,0107 107 multiply by a thousand. It gives us 10,7. The unit has now changed to become milligram. What do you notice over here? You can see that these two, they are the same. And let's go back to the question. The question said, which piece of the wood is the heaviest? By merely working with the calculations, we can tell that they are of the same weight. So, even if it is in milligrams or in grams, you should be able to get the same answer as, as mine. Moving along, uh, moving along, here is another question. Tolani is using 20 liter bucket. It is always nice to highlight the important information as you read the given scenario. It will come of an assistance as you go further with the questions. Tolani is using a 20 liter bucket filled with water to wash his car. What is the volume of the bucket in milliliters? Right. Now we now work with kiloliters. We have liters, we have centiliters, and milliliters. Right. They want us in this question to convert the 20 liter to milliliters. So in other words, we are moving from here going there. What will be the answer? Remember from a liter to a centiliter, you will multiply by a hundred. And if we move from a centiliter to a milliliter, you will multiply by 10. This makes a conversion from a liter to a milliliter would be with a multiplication of a thousand. So we then going to say 20 multiply by a thousand. This one is quite easy. It will give us 20,000. The unit again has changed. It is now in milliliters. I hope you are still with me and enjoying, and please do do calculations out there also. The new words that we are going to come across in this lesson is the matrix system, which refers to a system of measurement that is used in South Africa. It involves units like kilometers, meters, grams, liters, and etc. We'll talk a lot about conversion, which is the process of changing a value from one form to another. For example, if you want to convert 2 kg to grams, the answer will be 2,000 grams. A conversion factor refers to a number used to change one set of units to another by multiplying or dividing. An example will either be you will multiply with 
a factor of a thousand or divide with a factor of a thousand. A unit refers to a system that you use to indicate the measure of something. For example, Mr. Oh, okay, for example, we'd say my cat weighs is seven kilograms. And um, for now, I want us to go on an ad break and then we'll come back with more activities when we come back. I will see you after this.